Hey everybody. Welcome to another video where I do whatever I want and today I want to test how gross I am. So, I've done BuzzFeed quizzes in the past. Today I want to test to see how gross I am. Cause sometimes I think I'm a really foul person and then sometimes I'm like, wow, I'm a very clean human compared to you peasants. So I've decided, you know what, I'm just gonna let the internet decide for me instead of me just deciding for myself. Stay tuned to the end to see who won the giveaway and uh, ready, let's begin. So I just basically googled how gross I am quiz. A few came up. A lot of them happen to be on BuzzFeed because BuzzFeed loves a quiz. So let's uh, take a gander. How often do you change your underwear? Every day. Come on, people. Do you ever pick your nose? Oh, quite often. I don't secretly enjoy it. Oh no, I fully outright enjoy picking my nose. I do it often. I pick my nose so much that I give myself zits. I have a zit in my nose right now. I picked it the other day. I picked the zit in my nose while picking my nose. Do you fart in public? Yes, better out than in. Do you spit in public? No, I can't spit, I don't know how. People make fun of me, I can't spit. Like I'll spit and like stuff comes out, but it's like more of like a misty spray. I don't get how people do those loogies and just like hawk them down the street. I don't get it. Would you eat food that fell on the floor? Well, it depends. It depends on like, you know, what it was. So I dropped like an M&M. &M. That's, it's fine. How often do you change your socks? Every day. Oh God. Are there people who don't change their socks every day? See, this is why I think I'm a clean person, but then there's other things like picking my nose and farting in public. It's really a toss up of how great I am. Would you use your SOS, oh, toothbrush for significant others? Yes. You know, I'm gonna say an absolute emergency if I had no choice. Cause like, we don't share as use a toothbrush. We don't even share these a bathroom. And I wouldn't just be like, oh, I need to brush my teeth and just wander into his and use his bathroom. I'm gonna go to mine and use my toothbrush. I like my toothbrush. It's bamboo. Would you use a stranger's toothbrush? Oh no. Oh, there's F words in this. I apologize. Do you ever touch your bum and not wash your hands afterwards? Yes. <laughs> what? What do you mean? I touch it right now. Boop, 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 boop. Not washing it. What do you mean? I'm constantly picking wedgies. Do you examine the snot you blow out into a tissue? Yes, you have to. You, that's how you tell if you're healthy or not. You have to look at the snot. If it's green or like yellow, you're sick. If it's just like white and crap, like you just have some allergies. Do you openly talk about poop? Oh, you should listen to my last podcast I did with my mom. Do you leave your nail clippings on the floor? No, no. That's rude. That's rude to someone else. Do you ever pick and eat your dry skin? I don't eat it. What? I don't eat it, I spit it out. <laughs> I like bite it with my feet like this. But, oh, I got something. Like, oh, dang it, now I got something. But I don't eat it. I'm gonna put it out and do that. So I'm gonna say no, because the eating part really grosses me out. Do you bite or chew on your nails? Yeah, if I tear it, I'm not like a nail biter. Do you wee in the shower? Yes. Oh, not in public showers. No, I wee, it won't let me go back. I would never pee in a public shower. Only in my own shower. All right, well, now it thinks it's grosser than I actually am. Do you wee in the bath? No, I'm not sitting in my own urine. Do you enjoy the smell of your own farts? No, Colleen does, not me. Do you feel satisfied when you get a big bit of earwax out of your ear? Yes. Who is not satisfied by that? This is a long quiz. Do you get a certain pleasure from squeezing a juicy zit? Yes. Who doesn't? That is so satisfying. So you might not like to see it on other people, but I like to see it on myself. Who doesn't? Like when you get like the root comes out, like, oh, delicious. How often would you go without washing? No more than a day. I have to shower like every day. <gasps> I'm 49% gross. I'm a medium level of gross. You know what? I'm gonna take that. I will take that with pride because I am not foul and I'm not like a germaphobe. I'm straight up down the middle. Love that for me. I'm comfortable in my own skin. I am. Like, look at my skin, I'm glowing. All right, this one is my favorite. How much of a gross girl are you? As opposed to a gross boy because it's different. What's the longest, oh. Okay, now I see. What's the longest you wear one bra for without washing it? Well, <laughs> I've definitely gone more than two weeks. College, you don't got time. Like, even now, I have a load I still need to do, I just haven't done it. I've gone a long time without washing a singular bra. Yeah. What's the longest you've gone without changing your underwear? A day. Do you enjoy pulling out ingrown hairs? God, yes, I live for it. How often do you remove all your makeup before bed? Every night. I've learned that you take off your makeup before bed, it saves you from so many pimples and zits. Oh my goodness. I will never fall asleep with makeup on again. How many times do you use your razor before changing it? I change it every two to three weeks. That is not an option. Until the moisturizing, we'll just do that. Whatever the middle one is. How many times would you wear the same pair of tights before changing them? I don't wear tights, so I don't know the protocol on tights. What's the protocol on tights? Is that like underwear? Do you wear underwear with tights? What do you, I don't know. <laughs> I'll 
say three, no, I don't know. All right, it's three to four times? I don't, I've never done that. What about socks? Once. Do you ever sniff the crotch of the armpits of clothes before wearing them? Sometimes. Sometimes. You know, like something's on the floor and you're like, did I wear that or did I not wear that? I don't remember. Have you done that with underwear? No. Wait, only once or twice. <laughs> That's I forgot. Okay, cuz like listen, we're gonna get real women. We are constantly leaking juices So like you know if you've worn the underwear because like there's signs that you've worn the underwear But there's sometimes when you're wearing a tampon and you're like wait did I wear this underwear or not? Cuz like sometimes you just throw clothes around and you're like wait did I wear this underwear? And then you have to sniff it to be like cuz like there's no signs There's no visual signs if you've worn it So you kind of have to sniff it to see if it was clean or dirty because of the tampon <laughs> How do you remove your nail polish? Yeah, I peel bits off for sure <laughs> This is detailed. I didn't think they would ask these questions. How would you describe the feeling of pulling out a long hair from your bum? You know, like after you you know how like, okay, I have very long hair. You wash your hair in the shower, sometimes it comes out and runs down your back and gets stuck in your bum. And then later you like pull it out and you're like, Whoa! it's weirdly satisfying. How do you clean your nails? I don't. <laughs> Wait, no, oh, I wanna switch it. I hate that they won't let you go back. Sometimes I pick up random objects that look like they could do the job. I am that one. Dang it. When do you throw away old mascara? Until it looks like it's drying up. What do you mean? Is there a time frame in which you're supposed to not? Like you use it until it's not usable anymore. <laughs> There's no expiration date on it. Do you ever just drip dry instead of wiping after you wee wee? No, I always wipe. Like you could get infections. I'm gross, but I am not gross enough to give myself an infection. No diseases here. How long would you leave a pad or tampon before changing it? <sighs> My average is eight. Eight hours. But how long has this one been in? <laughs> I think I'm good. As long as I can get away with. See, that one, people, you shouldn't do it more than eight hours. So I'll go five to six. Have you ever used a face wipe on your body instead of showering? No, because like like a makeup remover wipe? Instead of showering. No, you gotta shower. Do you ever just top on your deodorant instead of showering? <laughs> I meant to hit sometimes. Dang it! This quiz is gonna think I'm grosser than I actually am. So when it gives me my results, just know I'm not that gross. Have you ever tipped your head upside down and itched your scalp to assess the flakiness of your scalp? No! Do you share your makeup with people? It doesn't, it's not that it depends on the makeup, it depends on the person. So I'll say it depends on what makeup it is, because there's a depends in there. Have you ever found crumbs in your bra and had to get them out? Yes! Oh my god, I'm 56% gross. No, we're taking that down to 50 because it wouldn't let me change my answers on some of them. I can be pretty gross, but it's not much to worry about. Yeah, see guys, I'm great. I'm just, I'm right in that middle zone. Like, I can be clean, but I'm fine with being dirty. All right, BuzzFeed, let's do another Another one. How secretly gross are you? It's not a secret. Do you always wash your hands after using the toilet? Only if there are people checking. <laughs> I'm not pooping or peeing on my hands, okay? They only touch the toilet paper. I don't understand what everyone's big deal is. If I'm preparing food or if I'm, you know, if you're working at a restaurant, yeah, wash your hands. But like, I'm at my house, I go pee, I go sit back down and watch some more Netflix. Like, why am I washing my hands? How long can you go without shower and not bothering you? A day. I, I get really oily and sticky and I sweat a lot. I need to shower daily. How long can you wait to do your laundry? I like to stay on top of it. I do once a week. I do it once a week. Half, how often do you change the sheets? If I would live by myself, it would be once every like three months. But I live with Matt, so it's once every two weeks. He's way more clean than me. He would get like 100% clean and 0% gross on all of these. How does he put up with me? You dropped a piece of chocolate on the floor. What do you do? <sighs> I have to say a silent prayer because I have dogs and their fur would stick to that chocolate. Who is FaceTiming me? Hey, hi Duncan, how are you? I'm actually in the middle of filming, can I call you back? Oh, Netflix, Grey's Anatomy just started playing. Grey's, no, I'm busy. How embarrassing, you saw what I'm binge watching. Where was I? <laughs> I got interrupted. What's the longest you've worn the same pair of socks for? Mm, oh, the longest record, like I've gone on trips. Three to five days. On a normal day, I change them every day. But like, there have been some situations. There's always an exception to the rule. What's your stance on peeing in the shower? Girl, I pee in that shower. Have you peed in a public swimming pool? How do you deal with ingrown hairs? I relish digging them out. You know what, I don't 
get them much anymore. Just sad. Ah, oh, taking care of your body. You don't get to pick up the pus. Honestly, how often do you properly clean the floors in your house? You know, with actually move things and get all the dust bunnies and all that. See, I'm at once a month. I do like a deep clean. I do like a Swiffer or a sweep like every other day because I have so much dog hair around my house now. Yeah, I'm gonna say every once a week because I do Swiffer and sweep often. How do you feel about the smell of your own farts? People, do people really like the smell? <gasps> I'm only 39% secretly gross. Guys, I am winning at life. I love this. So basically what we've determined is that I'm like not a gross person. <laughs> I farted. I think I'm not gross around other people unless it's in a video because like I farted but you can't smell it. That's my thing. Like if it affects another human negatively, I'm not really gonna do it. And also if it's gonna give me a disease, I'm gonna keep it clean. Like that's just basically it. I'm gonna change my tampon, I'm gonna change my underwear. My feet smell gross which affects other people if I don't change my socks. I like, I think I'm a considerate human but I definitely have my gross qualities. And also it depends on who's deciding if these things are gross or not. Ooh, society putting your limitations on me again. Well, that's it for today. So we've decided that I'm on the not so gross, but maybe a little gross scale. I'm in right in the middle. So congrats to me. I'm amazing as we've discovered. So subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Like this video if you like it. Here's the winner for the giveaway. You have won this Uber gift card. So I'll DM you. I love you guys so much. Uh, make sure you're checking out my vlog channel and the podcast I do with my mom, all things internet, new episodes every Monday. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching to see how gross I am. And remember, above all else, stay awesome, possums.